it going gamers, Luis here from Gaming Vlog Network and earlier this month Yoshi's Woolly World was released here in North America for the Nintendo Wii U. I actually did a review on it so if you want to go check that out you can click that little icon on the corner of the screen and you can go ahead and check out the review. But with that said, I've been thinking a lot about Yoshi's Woolly World and its development, how it became the game we know today. And so, with that said, of course we're going to be doing a beta zone video on the development of Yoshi's Woolly World. Now this is a smaller episode because not that much information has been released. Most of it is actually just speculation on what I've seen so far. So let's get started with the beta and the development of Yoshi's Woolly World. The first reference to Yoshi's Woolly World was back in November 2012 when someone accessed a secret subform on Miiverse by accident. The subform listed a bunch of different game titles and series with one of them being Yoshi's Island Wii U. Nintendo said that this was just a mock-up menu for Miiverse, but in the year after it was found, a new Yoshi game for the Wii U was announced. During the January 2013 Nintendo Direct, a new game called Yarn Yoshi was announced by Satori Wanta. Yarn Yoshi was developed by Good Feeling, the developers behind Kirby's Epic Yarn, with Tezuka supervising the development. Tezuka was the director of Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story for the N64. Now the first trailer for Yarn Yoshi looks completely different from Yoshi's Woolly World. Not exactly just in aesthetics, but also in terms of gameplay. Originally, it seems that Yoshi would start the game in a 2D-like Yarn Yoshi form, very similar to how Kirby looked like in Kirby's Epic Yarn. It wouldn't be until Yoshi actually eats someone that he would turn into the 3D Yarn Yoshi that we know from Yoshi's Woolly World. Looking at the gameplay, the shy guy enemies in the area become scared and run away whenever 3D Yoshi is near them, but whenever Yoshi is in his simple 2D form, they remain stationary. I believe that this meant that originally Yoshi was only able to hurt enemies by eating them, at least in his 2D form, and it wasn't until he became 3D that he was able to stomp on enemies. There isn't even any evidence that shows that Yoshi would even be able to lay eggs in this version of the game. To my assumption, it looks like Yarn Yoshi was originally going to be more like the successor to Kirby's Epic Yarn, in the sense that the gameplay would be very similar, but have a different main character. However, it looks like sometime between 2013 and 14, Tezuka probably suggested making the game much more like a sequel to the original Yoshi series of games like Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story. There's even some early inspiration you could see from the older Yoshi games, like the flowers and the arrows in the background that look very similar to that of Yoshi's Island. In 2014, Tezuka talked with NZ Gamer and brought up the changes seen with Yoshi from a single strand model to a full 3D model, stating that Kirby has a fairly simple shape, but Yoshi is a little more complicated. He has more curves and different shapes involved, so it was hard to express him in that same way. We made all sorts of Yoshis using different materials and stuff. So it seems like this is the reason why we saw the single strand of Yarn Yoshi in the beginning of the game, then we saw this full 3D model in the final version of the game. There was also a new trailer revealed at E3 2014, where Yarn Yoshi became much more like the final Yoshi's Woolly World that we know today aside from some slight design changes. At the start and ends of the E3 2014 demo, a ribbon logo would appear that says Start and Goal. These would be later replaced with a different design. The jewel counter was also slightly different. The icon showed a large group of jewels rather than a single large gem. It also seems like Miiverse and Daisies were implemented just yet, as there aren't any in the actual gameplay of this version of the demo. And from then on, it seems like Yoshi's Woolly World was the game we got earlier this month. I think a lot of people like to complain and say that the game is a complete copy of Kirby's Epic Yarn, and it probably did start off that way, but if you look at the changes we just listed, it seems like it became that, or it started off like that, but then it eventually became its own full-fledged game that ended up being a sequel to Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo, and I'm really glad it did, because it looks awesome, and it plays just as awesome as it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little history lesson on the development and the beta of Yoshi's Woolly World for the Nintendo Wii U. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the announcement trailer when it originally came out, and by the time it's out now, you guys probably forgot that there even was like a single strand yarn Yoshi design ever. So it's kind of cool to look back at the history of the development of this game and sort of learn how they became the game that we know and love today. Thank you all very much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys didn't feel like being awesome, you guys can drop a like below or share the video on social networks like Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit. It really helps the channel grow an audience, and I greatly appreciate it, so thank you. My name is Luis Alamia from GVN, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.